Hello dear students, today we are going to explore an interesting thing and what we would be doing is we would be calculating compound interest and simple interest on same principle for same duration and at same rate of interest and then we will see which is the better option. So the first question is find the compound interest on rupee 15,000 for two years at 8% per annum. And the second is, we will be comparing it with, find the simple interest on rupees 15,000 for two years at 8% per annum. So let us first do the uh, compound interest calculation. So for the first year, what will happen is, the principal will be rupees 15,000 and rate of interest will be 8% per annum and time is one year. So using the simple interest formula, we calculate the interest, that is P into R into T by 100, 15,000 into eight into one by 100, simply we get answer as 1,200. Now you know the process of finding compound interest. This interest will be added to the principal and we will calculate the amount. And this amount will become principal for the second year. So 15,000 plus 1,200 gives us 16,200. And in the next year, when we are going to calculate the compound interest, what will happen? Principal will become 16,200. Rate of interest is same. That is 8% per annum. Time is one year. Use the same formula P into R into T by 100 and do the calculations. So we get 16,200 into 8 into 1 by 100. That gives us 1,296. So previous, in the previous year, the amount when we calculated, we found the interest was 1,200 rupees. And now the interest is 1296 so add both these values we see that compound interest comes out to be rupees 2496 now let us see if the same money is with the same rate of interest is deposited for two years at simple interest what will happen the simple interest will be p into r into t by 100 and you know that when we have to calculate the simple interest, the fact is the principal remains the same throughout the duration. So here the simple interest will be 15,000 into 8 into 2. Time is 2 years because in both the years principal will be same. So simple interest for the first year will be 15,000 into 8 into 1 by 100. In, even in the second year, it will be 15,000 into 8 into 1 by uh, 100. When you add, you get the answer. So 1,200 plus 1,200, that is 2,400, if we wish to imagine that. And we can use the direct formula like I have done here. So P into R into T by 100. So T is 2 years. So 15,000 into 8 into 2 by 100, that directly gives us 2,400. So now you tell me, CI is better option than SI? What do you say? Yes, of course, compound interest is better. As you see that here, the simple interest is 2,400 rupees and compound interest we found to be 2,496. And interestingly, you will see the difference between the two. 